welcome back to all my supporters and friends and to all those that are new you're watching jam prod pod before we go on with the show some of you may be asking where i've been in the last couple of months i'm not alone when i say that shit happens in life and some of it is beyond our control the stresses of my highly demanding job and multiple family losses uh, contributed to my uh, health issues and my absence from the, uh, the channel i'm glad to report that i'm slowly uh, recovering and i look forward to making great content again now let's get into it today we'll take a short flight with the mini 4 pro that is currently running the new dji firmware that was released uh, recently and the rc2 controller um, there will be some strong wind and i'd like to see how it's going to perform under those conditions also we will be taking a look at DJI's competition that seems to be heating up and what's new in the drone hobby. We will also take a look at some of the YouTuber channels that I enjoy watching. Now let's go on with the show. Today it's a nice day but it's a little windy and it's been a while since I've been out on the field with my DJI Mini 4 Pro so I thought we're gonna give it a try. It uh, reads uh, 41 kilometers per hour. We'll see how that goes. So the speed is set to normal, but as you can see there, there's our P mode bug with the current version of firmware from DJI. <clears throat> We've got 24 satellites. I think we're going to give it a shot and take off now. I don't see no reason why we can't. I wanted to take a quick flight with the Mini 4 Pro uh, during the 41 kilometer wind situation. It's a short flight and we'll manually fly it just to see how it performs under these conditions. I definitely feel the wind pushing the drone slightly. Well, that was close. Had to compensate there. I think we'll fly over to that church. We'll do a manual orbit around the church just to see how that works with the Mini 4 Pro in this wind. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, let's start our orbit. I have to say, it's handling the wind gusts very nicely. I'll have to gimbal a little bit. And going to speed up this process. Just complete our uh, orbit. That's good enough. I will. <laughs> All right. All in all, it looks good though, so far. We'll start heading back, but before that, I'm just going to fly over to that uh, little uh, business that's right by the water and the highway I think it's like a restaurant of some type I'm pretty sure that's what it is I've been here once before uh, when I filmed the uh, waypoints mission and if you haven't seen that video I'm gonna put it up in the corner there and you can check it out this is Hawkesbury and it's in uh, Ontario as I mentioned in my last video, this is the Ontario River. The water appears to be murky this time of the year. Okay, let's uh, bring her in home. We let it come in automatically. And see how our precision landing does okay so we've proved our point in the uh, you know high gust winds at 41 kph it's right above us now Here it comes. Boy, the gusts are really picking up. Getting ready to pause. Just in case anything goes south. Not sure if you can see it yet, but here it comes. It's fighting the wind. You can see the slanting as it fights the wind. I think it went smooth considering the high wind conditions it had to manage. Let's head back to the studio. During my recovery, I've been able to keep up with the changing landscape of our drone hobby. A great part of this was done by watching my favorite YouTube channels and my flying friends out there. As the popularity of drones continues to soar, we are seeing a fundamental shift in the landscape of drone manufacturers. More players are jumping in the commercial and consumer markets making the competition even harder for DJI. The one thing I can say in defense of DJI is perhaps that their service and support is up there. And it's very hard for a lot of companies to afford the, that level of service. 
my only negative about DJI support is the fact that whatever information we were able from our community to send out to them, when they release a, a firmware update, we never get the feedback. Uh, hey, we're listing the fixes and this is what we fixed. This is what's pending. In that case, a lot of this information uh, we have to figure out ourselves and we'd have to test every firmware to see if they actually made any changes that uh, we've reported in the past. That makes it hard for us to know whether or not they're listening to us. I am sure they are because there's things that they fix that we figure out later that they have fixed. Uh, for example, I'll give you a very good example with this latest firmware. Um, if you forget to turn off the recording before you turn off the, the controller, it would automatically stop the recording and basically you won't lose your footage. And I have I know because this happened to me while out on the flight that we're about to see or that you've already seen. Another great example is what happened to me. I was one of the first in Canada to buy uh, a Mini 4 Pro and I discovered a situation regarding the reverse tracking. They, to date, they have never responded directly to me regarding if they fixed this issue. The only feedback I got was them pointing me to their website, which obviously does not list any fix, uh, any fixes. So DJI, if you're listening, please, please provide a fix list with every new firmware release that you make. This would be highly appreciated by the whole community. Okay, let's move on. In this part of the video, we will discuss what's new and what DJI's competitors are doing to grab a piece of the pie. We will begin with the Femi Mini 3 that is scheduled to be shipping by end of this April. This drone is comparable to the DJI Mini 3, currently on sale on AliExpress. Introducing the Femi Mini 3, a compact drone designed for both functionality and affordability. Weighing in at under 250 grams with the smaller battery, it's compliant with legal regulations without compromising on performance. Let's talk about image quality. Equipped with a 3-axis gimbal, the Fimi Mini 3 ensures steady shots even in challenging conditions such as strong winds or motion. With a 48-megapixel Sony sensor and a 1 over 2-inch CMOS sensor, expect stunning detail in every shot. Plus, enhanced night shots thanks to a dedicated AI ISP chip. For time-lapse enthusiasts, the Fimi Mini 3 offers a resolution of 8000 by 6000 while video enthusiasts can shoot in stunning 4K at 60 frames per second. Performance-wise, the Fimi Mini 3 boasts a flight time of up to 32 minutes with the standard battery and a maximum speed of 18 meters per second. It's capable of handling winds up to force 5 on the Beaufort scale. The data transmission range is said to be up to 9 kilometers, and FOV of 79 degree is covered. Navigation is a breeze with GPS, Beidou, GLONASS, and Galileo support. Next up, it's Cogito's Spectre Air. This uh, drone is competing against the DJI Air 3. If you'd like to get more information on this, please visit Half Chrome's channel, links below. He uh, uh, does a great review on this drone and also a teardown review that you shouldn't miss. The Spectre Air is currently listed on Amazon's in the US for $1,099. Also coming soon, Spectre has announced that they will be releasing a mini drone as well. This is comparable to the DJI Mini 2. Next up is Anzu Robotics. They're targeting the enterprise class customers. This drone is targeting the US market while avoiding the Chinese import bans for commercial and law enforcement entities. The Raptor is set to take over the stage in the US and North America. With two available versions of the Raptor, You've got the standard Raptor and the Raptor T with the thermal sensors.
and let's not forget DJI's latest release. There are a lot of videos out there from many YouTubers available for the Avada 2. The following are some drone channels that are really great to uh, watch. They provide a lot of information and quality entertainment. Don Joyce. Dustin Dunhill. Gavin HR. Geeks Vana with Sean. Half Chrome with Jack. Ian in London. Ida Owl Quadcopters. Marcus Crawford. Ken Heron and Jeff Stills with the news. Ken Dono at Original Dobo. Fred Nemeth with his flying camera. Jorg Schlakek. The one. We're the Roberts with Kevin and Christy. Windswept Robert. And lots more. Thank you all for the great work and advice and quality entertainment.